Okay, now for question eight from the specimen paper for IGCSE 2020. It says triangle ABC is isosceles, AC is parallel to BD. Find the value of A and the value of B. Okay, so it's a simple um, question on geometry and parallel lines and angles in triangles and so on. So it says it's an isosceles triangle. ABC is isosceles. Now, we can see that you have markings on it which show which sides are the same. Isosceles means two sides are the same. Okay, and what we need to know, one of the laws that we need to know, um, one of the basic angle facts, is that isosceles triangles have one pair of equal sides and the angles at the base of the equal sides are the same. So this angle here is also angle A. That's A and that's A. They're both the same because at the base of the equal sides of the isosceles triangle. So what we can say here is that angle A plus angle A plus 40 add up to 180. So we can say A plus A plus 40 equals 180 degrees and that's because they're angles in a triangle. Okay, angles in a triangle add up to 180. So 2A plus 40 is equal to 180. So 2A is equal to 140, 180 minus 40. So A is equal to 70 degrees. So we know that A is 70. So the value of A is 70. Okay, that's part A done. Okay, and you can just make sure, you see 70 plus 70, they're both the same, 140 plus 40 is 180, they add up to 180 degrees. And secondly, we need to find the angle B. Now, for the angle B, there's numerous ways of doing it, but the fact that this time I'm going to focus on the fact that they've told us that these two um, sides are parallel. AC and BD are parallel, and those, whoops, the arrow, the arrow, not the, uh, there, the arrow shows that they're parallel. So those two lines which share the same, um, the, sa the same symbol, they're parallel to each other. Okay, the same arrows. So there's a number of ways I could do this actually, but the easiest way probably is the fact that you have what's called a Z shape here. Okay, I'll just draw it here for you. Um, let me make it a different color. Okay. Just for the purpose of you seeing, you can see that you've got this line here, this line here, and that line here. They make like a Z shape. Okay, this angle and that angle. Okay, they are called alternate angles. Okay, so we can say that B is equal to 40 degrees, and you can say you can write alternate angles. You don't actually have to write the reason in this particular question, but sometimes they do ask. For the reason so writing it in this shorthand form is perfect, perfectly fine it's angles in a triangle alternate angles b and 40 are the same so b is equal to 40 degrees there's also other ways of finding there's not always one way of finding angles when you're dealing with angle questions sometimes there's numerous ways of doing so so i mean for example what we could have said was angle a plus b and angle a they are called interior angles they add up to 180 so we can say we know that this is 70 and this is 70. So we can say that 70 plus 70 plus B is equal to 180. Okay, because this plus this, okay, this angle here plus that, okay, added to 70 degrees, the interior angles, this because the interior angles, interior angles. See, this is 70 plus B and this is 70. They make a C shape like this. So they add up to 180. So if you solve that, that's going to be 140 taken away from 180, which is 40. Same, same answer. Okay. So um, there's lots of ways of doing this, but the easiest way like, that came to my eyes is the alternate angles. Okay. So there's question number eight completed.